you guys see we got construction going on expanding a little bit to the flip-flop brand covering the walkway So when it rains, no one gotta move. Big shout to I Rep Dominican Republic for the dope videos and photos of Dominican women. Um, check them out on Instagram, I Rep Dominican Republic. They definitely got some dope stuff, and that's a couple of my thumbnails right there too. Check them out. What's good, friends and family? Mr. Flip Flop, once again here for you guys. Shout out to all of you. First off, do not do lives when you've been drinking two bottles of whiskey. That's number one. Shout out to all y'all. Y'all love some drama, but we're moving on. Um, second, this video, I don't know how many more videos I'm gonna get to do. Pardon the, uh, the noise. We're doing construction of Flip Flop, expanding a little bit, making it better for you guys. Um, this video will be kind of about relationships and whatnot, I get asked a lot of questions. How do you tell the difference in a regular girl and a chappy? I'm gonna try to help you, but it's kinda hard to just speak about it. You gotta go through it. But first off, there's something I wanna say to all you guys. You guys motivate me, especially when I'm being told I motivate people to travel. This channel is all about information and entertainment. We have fun. Now, like you said, the Paradise Life Movement, it's, it's, a, it's a great movement. We're doing it when we do, and I'm having fun with it. But the sad incident of the uh, Kobe situation, you know, it's very sad. Kobe and his daughter passed away, as well as the nine people in the, um, the seven other people in the helicopter. I don't want to, you know, downplay that, that nine people did die that day. Um, but and it's not so much to ride the wave of the Kobe death. I watched something that Shaquille O'Neal said, and it really touched me because it, it means a lot to me because everything he said kind of was like me. I work a lot, you know, whether it be Ed Flip Flop, sometimes I'm here 16 hours a day, um, whether it be running around doing the Paradise Life stuff, running around the campos, you know, doing what I do, doing the videos, running the other businesses, I'm working nonstop, you know, so that's why when people text me, email me, five in the morning, you get a response. And he said something that really touched me and I wanted, I want to bring it to your attention. We can get so busy with life that we forget to just pick up a phone and say, hey, I love you. Hey, I miss you. Hey, how you doing? To our closest friends, family members. I'm guilty of that myself. Um, so don't wait till somebody passes to tell you how much, how much you care about them. Even if you're mad at somebody, if it's someone that's in your life or has been in your life, a simple text, quick phone call, just see how they're doing. You don't got to like the person right now, but just see how they're doing. So, if one thing the Kobe death taught me, like I said, it's not as much to do with the death itself, you know, it's very sad in itself, but what Shaquille O'Neal said was, I get so busy, I forget to reach out to my friends. I forget to reach out to my coworkers. You know, so that touched me a little bit because I'm one of those people that work a lot. You know, I'm non I'm a workaholic, I just can't help myself. And um, sometimes I forget to reach out. So to all you guys, I appreciate you and I love you guys. Pick up a phone, send a text to somebody that you appreciate, that you love, that you haven't spoke to in a while, just to see how they doing. You know, so on to this. Now, I keep getting asked the question, and I won't get too deep. I'm trying to put this video out because I might not get a chance to do a video during Super Bowl or after. Um, it will be crazy here. I'm still, I'm crazy right now with the, with the construction, with all the parties. Shout to Dean Cole. He signed up for the yacht party. Shout to Bo Rakes, Cerise Fairfax. They will be 
at the Super Bowl viewing party. So a lot of fun going to be had by all. But I will get to videos as much as I can. I got a DR Crips coming up hopefully in the next week or so. So how can you tell a chappy your daughter from a regular chick? Now, for those who don't know what a chappy your daughter is, in layman terms, a chappy your daughter is a chick that gets with you for money. Not always a prostitute. I think people have it mis misconstrued, misconstrued. A puta or prostitute, that would be more of along the lines of just with you for sex and money. In exchange, pay for play. A chappy your daughter is a chick who uses you for money or uses you for what she needs. Let me break it down. As I had the pleasure of, and that would be a love and flip-flop episode, of being with one of the most famous chappy your daughters in Porta Plata at one time. Um, a chappy your daughter is a chick, well, let me explain what she did. So me and her were together off and on. We just, you know, messing around. And people kept telling me, yo, she's like a super hoe. Ah, da, da, da. And I'm like, I don't see it though. And I don't, I don't really care, but I don't see it because I know she goes out with many guys. But then at the end of the night, she's calling my phone. So what, what she did was, and what chappy your daughters for the most part do is, they'll go out, drink all your liquor, smoke all your hookah, either bounce to the dude they really want to go with or go home. Uh, it's kind of slick because they be like, hey, can I bring my aunt, can I bring my cousin while we go out? That's their way of, oh, you know, at the end of the night, they done drink all your liquor, they done smoked all your hookah, and they're like, hey, you know what? My cousin not feeling well, I'm going to go home with her. And now you left with nothing. So for a chap your daughter, you don't always get sex. Most of the time, they just get money out of you. Um, especially the old guys who just want to be around a pretty chick. And not, I'm talking American and Dominican, not just Americans or Europeans, whatever. Um, so a chap your daughter is just basically using you for money. Now, how can you tell the difference? This is the hard part. People ask me this question all the time. I use the word vet, V-E-T, vet, or, I'm sorry, V-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, excuse me. You have to vet them out. And it's hard because you may get a really good chap your daughter that she's making you really think she's your girlfriend, but she's just playing you for money. Um... Some girls you can tell right away, they listen, the request for money comes immediately. You know what they're about. Some of them will play the long game with you, ride it out, and get more in the end. I really can't explain how to tell. You have to go off your feelings and your judgment. I can immediately tell. Once, the first couple of words in the conversation, I can immediately tell. Now, the night I did that crazy live, and I'm going to do another um, street food for the platter. We just left. Left some uh, young ladies in uh, one of the barrios. And girl came straight up and told me. She goes, hey, I'm about that money. So now there's no reason to, to discuss anything else. She said, I'm about that money. I need that money. I got to go buy me some, some rum. Got to go buy me some Jordans. You know, whatever. So there's, no, there's nothing to discuss. Now, how do I bet them out? I basically just in conversation. See what they're about. You know, I know the cost of living down here for the locals. I know what you need and what you don't need. So you coming at me saying, hey, my baby needs milk and the milk is 3,000 pesos, I'm looking at you like you're crazy. Or you say, hey, I need a babysitting, the baby's 5,000 pesos, I'm looking at you crazy. So you know, I can, I can judge off of the conversation piece, but then I can communicate so it's a little easier on my behalf and I read people. So when I'm talking to a young lady, I can read her, 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 her flow. And after a few words and a, and a, and a small combo from me, she knows immediately I'm not about that. She knows immediately not to play with me. They call it, as, as Brandon likes to run around, Team Hyper. Hyper means crab, but it also means you know too much. You're not, you're not to be played with. You know a lot. So it's like once a, the girl has a conversation with me, she knows I can't get over on this guy. And most of the time they'll stop talking to me because they realize I'm not playing their game. Or they'll keep continuing just see, hey, maybe we get cool. Maybe we go get some drinks or something. Everybody know I like to go out. Um, also, I guess, I think WhatsApp statuses are the new snitches. If you ever show me a picture, I'm real good at this in Dominican Republic. I know the background of like anywhere. Like someone has a picture and I see the background, I can kind of tell where it is. So I go on my WhatsApp statuses and if I see backgrounds of certain clubs, certain villas, certain restaurants, I know she's not going in her home, so... She must be doing a chappy thing, you know what I mean? So, the, to answer the question, to make it plain and simple, how do you tell a chappy from a regular girl? You have to vet them out. 
you have to go about every girl everybody needs something everybody needs help but you have to go about what they need from you are they asking you for an absorbent amount of money are they is the stove broke is the, the tv break you know the, these problems keep arising over and over again and you not getting the satisfaction you need not sexually but as far as feeling this is your woman or she's really about you so that's my quick report about that sorry about the construction make it flip-flop bigger and better as we do uh more to come so stay tuned guys i'm out